today we will discuss London equations. London equations were given by two London brothers, F London and H London. These are based on two fluid model, which is explained basically on electrodynamic properties. We have already seen that it has not been possible to deduce the Meissner effect on the basis of Maxwell's equation. Later on, London brothers explained the phenomena of flux penetration inside the superconductor. Actually, London equations could explain the electrodynamics of type 2 superconductors. According to two fluid model, there are two types of electrons in superconductors. Normal electrons, which behave in usual manner, and super electrons, which experience no scattering. They have zero entropy, that is perfect order and long coherence length. So at T is equal to Tc, all the electrons are normal. As T increases, ratio of super electron to normal electron increases. At T is equal to 0, K, all electrons are super electrons. We have already seen that Maxwell's electromagnetic equation could not explain electrodynamics of superconductors. Therefore, London brothers introduced two equations to describe conduction and the Meissner effect. Conduction means E is equal to 0 or R is equal to 0. Meissner effect means perfect diamagnetism in superconducting state that is B is equal to 0. Current density of super electrons is given by the equation Js is equal to minus E Ns Vs. Differentiating this equation with respect to T, you will get this equation. Since we know that F is equal to Ma and substituting this in the above equation and rearranging the terms, we will get E square Ns E upon small m is equal to Djs upon Dt. This is equation number one, which is first London equation. And this describes resistance-less property. So for E is equal to zero, Djs upon Dt is equal to zero, which shows that current density is constant. So it is possible to have steady state current in superconductor in the absence of an electric field. So first London equation describes resistance-less property. Then equation 1 is modified to describe Meissner effect that is the electrodynamics of type 2 superconductors. Now taking curl of equation 1, del cross Djs upon Dt is equal to E square Ns upon M del cross E. Since del cross E is equal to minus dV upon dt, so this equation reduces to del cross Djs upon dt is equal to minus E square Ns M dV upon dt. Integrating this with respect to T, you will get del cross Js is equal to minus Ns E square upon M B. This is second London equation which describes diamagnetism. So now we'll see the explanation of flux penetration that is Meissner effect from London equation. According to London brothers, flux does not suddenly drops to zero at the surface of superconductors like in type 1 superconductors, but it decreases exponentially like type 2 superconductors. So in order to see the actual variation of flux with the distance, we will start with Maxwell equation that is Ampere's law which is del cross B is equal to mu naught Js. Taking curl of equation 3, you will get equation 4. Now making use of well known identity del cross del cross B is equal to del del dot B minus del square B which reduces to minus del square B is equal to mu naught del cross Js. Since del dot B is equal to 
zero. So, substituting value of del cross J S from equation two in equation number five, we'll get del square B is equal to mu naught N S E square upon M D. Or del square b is equal to 1 upon lambda square b, where lambda is equal to under root m upon mu naught ns e square, the London penetration depth. Lambda is the characteristic length over which external magnetic fields are exponentially suppressed and it has dimensions of length. One dimensional form of equation 6 uh, would be this del square b upon dx square is equal to 1 upon lambda square b where bx is the flux density at distance x inside the superconductor. This is second order differential equation and solution of equation 7 is assumed to be B is equal to B naught e to the power minus x upon lambda, where B naught is the field at surface and x is the distance from the surface measured into the specimen that is the depth inside the superconductor. Equation 8 shows that B decreases exponentially inside the superconductor which can also be seen from this uh, graph where B naught is the field at surface. Thus in superconducting state, the only field allowed in the exponentially decreasing field as the flux penetrated from external surface and is given by equation number 8. If we substitute x is equal to lambda, then equation 8 becomes B is equal to B naught upon E. Thus London equation Thus, London penetration depth is defined as the distance inside the surface of superconductor at which the magnetic field reduces to 1 upon E times its value at the surface. So, lambda measures the depth of penetration of the magnetic field. The London penetration depth depends on temperature and its variation with temperature is given by this equation and it is clear from this equation that at low temperature lambda is nearly independent of temperature and has a value lambda naught characteristic of the particular specimen. So this is also clear from this uh, graph uh, variation of lambda with temperature that at low temperature it is nearly independent of temperature and has value lambda naught and lambda becomes much larger as T approaches to its critical temperature. So as T approaches to critical temperature, lambda becomes much, much larger. And at T is equal to Tc, lambda becomes in infinite. In general, lambda ranges from 50 to 500 nanometers. So conclusions of London equations are London equations we are able to explain two conditions that is R is equal to 0 and B is equal to 0 which are characteristics of superconducting state. First London equation explains zero resistance property and second London equation explains flux penetration in superconductor.